Hello, I would like to apply for an adoption, please. Why wasn't I consulted about this? Because last time we tried to get a junkyard dog, we wound up getting a junkyard cat, and that's exactly where you're gonna go with it. If we don't want it to attack other dogs, now we would like for it to attack people. If it attacks a person, great. Do you guys remember that video of that uh, that kid who got attacked by a pit bull, and then a cat, the, the family cat, came and saved him? That's one of the best videos of all time. <laughs> now that woman seems like a prostitute. That's because she is. We'll make that who are my wife. Frank's whole wife died. Now he's looking for another whole wife. At least now he's going in knowing she's already a whole wife. Oh, oh no. Yeah. Oh. oh no. This place is a shithole. <sighs> what are you cocks looking at? You're gonna marry that, Frank? She's been my number one girl for a long while now. But she's still plowing other dudes. Tiger Woods has been calling her lately. No, no, no. Can't you find someone who loves you for who you are? Someone love Frank for who he is? Yeah. Come on. No, he's got a ton of good quality. Yeah, no. We were hanging out under the bridge. We found a box of denim. Stop wearing clothes you find washing up under bridges. Oh, they're boiled. Yeah, we'll bo yeah. we boil all our denim. Oh, good. Well, they're boiled, hey! so... They boil their clothes. The fuck man i know that's a way to like sterilize stuff but really clothes wow we boil them <laughs> who says that way there's some dirty crack whore in the alley jesus christ what the fuck happened to mark he's really fat now he's super fat man his belly his cheeks what the fuck happened to mark gained a lot of weight man i mean he's always been a lifter you know i could tell even with the other seasons that he lifts weights he lifts weights that's weird to say he lifts yeah you can tell when you look at someone but now he looks like he's just he's been eating bro when season six ended uh it ended with uh i think with their kid being born maybe it's just being a dad now dad life you look bad. Really, really bad. Okay, I'm getting I'm getting very concerned with the integrity of our organization here. 50 pounds of fat. Mass. Of fat. Muscle. Fat. Let's be clear. Fat. It's, we're becoming the gross crew. The gross crew? The gross crew. Mark has been lifting and eating. You can tell. He's been lifting and eating. I've looked like this before, man. You know? Then I stopped the lifting. Then she just got round, man. What if we took a pretty woman and threw it Roxy's way? That was a bullshit movie. People don't change like that. I went from a tiny twink to the muscle-bound freak you see before you. If you're gonna chime in, please don't do it with a mouthful of burrito. This is a chimichanga. You are becoming a chimichanga! Tomorrow night, I am proposing to that dirty whore. You have 12 hours to stop me from fucking up my life. Go. It's your life, man. Fuck it up if you want. This is gonna be a little bit harder than we thought. This woman is a real piece of shit. Uh -huh. <sighs> We're here to help you turn your life around. Mark will just be eating this whole episode, huh? Shut up, baby dick. All right, well, I'm out of no, here. No, no, no. People don't just change. People change. She can change. I'm gonna change. What is Yo, I, I feel like we need to fuck. forget about this woman. Let's address what's going on with Mark. I'm more interested in that, man. I cannot believe what he looks like right now, man. It's crazy. I've never seen someone get fat. I feel like... Yeah, I have. I have. Of course I have. You don't see yourself get fat. People see it and it's like... Damn. You know, it's weird, man. It's just... And he's just eating the whole time. You're already in your second act. Me? Yeah. We're all in our second act. Don't you see that? My first act was awesome. See, your first act was, was shit. And that's why you're so desperate for things to be different. Look at Mac. I got salsa on my shirt. He got salsa on his shirt. Somebody needs to take care of Mac. And that's going to be me. Because his fatness is starting to affect our entire crew. <laughs> What's that smell? Crack. That is crack rock. Mm -hmm. She's smoking crack. Oh, she's smoking crack. D, D knows from my experience with crack. She's like, that's crack. I got to get out of here. 
D was tempted. D was curious. D wanted to try. She's a sweet bitch. No, but she's mean. Dude, she's definitely only into you for the money. I signed you up on a dating website. I got you a date, dude. Yeah? This girl does think she's meeting a millionaire. I'm going to be the millionaire. I'll explain. Then we're out of the date, and I'm like, oh, I don't, I don't feel very well. I got to go home. Why don't you finish the date with my limo driver? This is a good idea. Right? I want to give it a whirl. All right, man. I have to go home. Why don't you finish the date? With my limo driver. I came out for a millionaire, man. You want me to bang a limo driver? <laughs> oh, man. What a deal. Woo, baby! Oh, I burned myself on a rivet. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to show you the damage that you've been doing to your body. And my hope is that it will incentivize you to finally lose some of this disgusting weight you've put on. I don't. I love how they turned this into an episode. Max, Max weight loss. Yeah, I don't think Matt, Mark got fat for the role. This is not a role worth getting fat for. You don't go, I'm going to gain a lot of weight because I'm playing Mark on It's Always Sunny. Nah. I think he just gained a lot of weight after he became a dad. And you know, at some point he was like, you know what? Time to lose the weight. Um, Let's play around that. You know, or they were filming, he had gained all this weight and they could not resist saying something. Because the audience will be like, yo, what the fuck? So they have to say something. Why not make an episode or just make a joke about it, you know? Perfect. No pain, no gain. Dude, I am doing leg lifts that are imperceptible to the human eye. And although I seem relaxed, I'm actually incredibly tense at all times. I'm cultivating mass. Stop saying that. You are not cultivating mass. And if you are, stop cultivating and start harvesting. Bro, did you want me to read these test results or not? Euthanize them, doc. Just get rid of them. These people have been a nuisance to, to, entire, to Philly in their neighborhood, man. Just euthanize them, man. Just end it. I see uh, severe dehydration here, multiple vitamin deficiencies, anemia. I'm going to get you on my exercise program. I'm going to get you fit as a fiddle. Uh, these, are, these are your results, Mr. Reynolds. I'm healthier than you, bro. No. no. Well, I, I wouldn't exactly say you're healthy. You have type 2 adult onset diabetes. What does that mean for me? Well, that means you're going to have to inject yourself several times a day with insulin. You need to think about losing a little weight. But I'm more healthier than he is, I think is the point that you're trying to make. Even with the diabetes. Dude, stop I saying don't... diabetes. You sound like an ass. Low blood sugar. <laughs> Let's get out of here, bro. I'm going to get you something to eat. Okay. I'm going to lift you up. Not as strong as I thought that. Okay, I've hurt my back. Hey, this jacket is awesome. Ooh, and it's tighter than dick skin, okay, man. Can you watch your language, please? Who talks like this, man? Jeez. You are aware that jacket is $500. Are you implying we can't afford that? I mean, screw your dick skin jacket, oh, man. No, 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 Maxie, Maxie, oh, God, no, don't do that. I'm trying to buy this coat, and this asshole here is giving me shit. Because I have money. Oh, Ooh. shit. Boom, face, Jerry, face. Take a hike. Sorry about the gay stuff that did cross the line. Jerry, please, my office. This is how a lot of chicks get into prostitution, man. Now, it's like, it's a cliche story. I've heard it many times. You know, and you see like, holy fuck, you're making that much from that. I'll try. That kind of, uh, that kind of vibe. You humiliated that salesman. I think you had the capital to back it up. Mm. We should go find Frank because he's got a surprise for you. No, it's Tiger Woods. It's Tiger Woods? Yeah. Help me dig these crack rocks out of my ass. How is she like... What? You look good. I feel like I'm, I'm a four-year-old going to my sister's wedding. Looks like an oil tycoon from the south. Huh? I've seen this trope before. I saw it on Billions. It's a very interesting trope, man. Oil tycoons from the south. I love the way they dress, man. I'm a casual millionaire from Texas. You Frank. look like a farmer. <laughs> casual millionaire. <laughs> Casually. I'm a millionaire, just casually. You know how long it's been since I've been with a, a non-pro? Are you relaxed? Oh, hello. <laughs> Hot Spot Adventure, CEO. Uh, this here's my limo driver, Frank. Uh, hand down, only say hello once. <laughs> how did you make your fortune? Mm -hmm. Oh, a hustling and a wrestling. Made a decent penny in boiled denims and uh, the bridge business, mostly. I'm kind of into bridges myself, yeah. right? 
I, I found a whole case of eggs under a bridge last week. Who in their right mind throws away a perfectly good case of eggs? Oh, excuse me. Excuse me. I believe I'm coming down a bit of something here. <laughs> Can we maybe put this divider up? Well, no, we don't want to exclude a great man like Frank from the conversation. Why ah! don't we drop him off? You and I will go to dinner, okay? Ah! Go on! Ah! I've been poisoned by my constituents! Oh my God. Ah! 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 You two can go to dinner together! Help me, somebody, please! I swallowed like a million blood capsules because I was going to cough like, you know, a handful of blood. They're making me really sick. Ah, oh, Charlie, you blew it. You're the one talking about eggs and crabs and shit. I love boiling denim and banging whores. Well. And I don't care if anybody doesn't like that about me. Frank is a simple man. He likes what he likes, man. We like what we like, man. People like what they like, man. You know? He likes finding eggs under bridges, boiling denim, banging whores. That's Frank, man. I miss Roxy. Yeah. Roxy and I are made for each other. <laughs> I won't even address the blood. Fuck that, man. Hello? <laughs> who are you? Tiger Woods. I know who you are. Of course you do, honey. I'm very famous. No, 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 no. Oh. I think this guy's an actor. Huh? He definitely pretended to be Donovan McNabb one time when I tried out for the Eagles. Yeah, I remember him. That's a weird hassle that he has. He just pretends to be people. <laughs> oh, my God. He's the guy who got out of the car when, when they tried out for the football, yeah? Got out of the car, did like a McDonald's commercial, basically. He just basically just did like a, a McDonald's, like a flag. He just got back in the car and left. And acted like he was McNaid or something. I don't know if that's the name. What a hassle. What a gig, man. Who does this, man? Pretending to be people. I am an actor. My name is Don Cheadle. No, you're not. What are you doing? What's going on? I don't care who he is. If he pays me 500 bucks to rub my feet. You don't have sex with him? Mm -mm -mm. I'm into foot shit. What uh, shoe size are you, by the way? Hey, your feet are bizarrely huge. kind of money are we talking about? Uh, well, I don't know. Maybe we could uh, pop those boots off and kick it around a bit. Uh, Jimmy Chongas are delicious. I told you, dude. So good. Oh. Uh, they're delicious. <laughs> they're full of carbs, which mm -hmm. is great for a pump. Mm -hmm. And they're cheap as shit. Uh, I want you to say to yourself, Jimmy Chonga, you are delicious. But what do I really want? Crack. Uh, oh. <laughs> I thought you were going to say pizza. Well, I've never had crack. Dude. You are going to love it. I am. It's so good. You want some insulin? Oh, shit. Yo. Uh-huh. <laughs> what is he doing? That amount of insulin would kill you. That is way too much. Insulin, man. Let's get crack from Roxy. <laughs> okay, perfect. Now, do you want some of this insulin? No, I just want crack. Okay. Tommy Bahama shirts. Are you familiar? You'll grow into yours, buddy. Yeah. Company is shit. They hide your fatness. You know, they're ugly as all hell, but I have a feel. Yeah, fat people. Fat people clothes, man. These are the go-to clothes for fat people. I know because I'm a fat person, man. These are the go-to shirts for fat people, man. These hide your fatness very well. Very well. Very well. You know. If you know, you know. What's up, ass dicks? <laughs> Astics, is that how you're gonna talk from now on? I'm gonna become a foot girl. All right, gross. Whatever. Frank, you are a good shit. Mm -hmm. And I want to make this legit. I want you to stop banging other guys. Want to be my wife or what? Oh my god. Uh, oh, oh, oh. Do, 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 do. The bitch is dead. Oh my god. Holy shit. Call 911. Uh, call an ambulance. Yeah, 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 yeah. We gotta think this through, okay? Uh, dead hooker in my apartment. That doesn't look good for me. I'm covered in blood. I'm I smoked a little crack in the car on the way over. Oh, you bitch. Oh, does, does she still have it? Yeah, 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 yeah. I can't leave her here. It's in her asshole, man. I don't want to sound insensitive, but we could just put her out in the hall. I think yeah, Roxy would have wanted it that way. Would he would know. Well, there you go. I know. Mean, that's you. It. Roxy, God bless you. You were a good whore. You serviced me like no other whore ever did. I'm gonna miss you. Amen. Amen. So should we get the dead whore out of the apartment? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, yeah. out of here. Yeah. Pretty woman walking down the street. Pretty woman. Dude, that that place where Charlie lives is so bad and so notorious for. Maybe ODs. I thought I thought by getting rid of the body, 
they would go and dump it like somewhere far. They just dragged her out of their house and just placed her right there. <laughs> like it makes sense, you know. This this is not weird or out of place at all for for that building. You know, it makes sense that there's a dead hole. You know, just in, in the hallway. You know, it happens. It's that bad that area. <laughs> that area. Wow. Pretty woman. I haven't seen Pretty Woman. That title has never incentivized me to be like, I want to watch that. No. I don't know why. I hear it referenced a lot, man. Pretty Woman. Maybe I'll watch it, man. Um, Good uh, episode. Uh, I didn't like Roxy at all. You know. I'm glad the hoe is dead. It's very fucking fucked up. It's a fucked up thing to say, man. But, you know, I did not like that character at all, man. It was annoying. Frank, what are you doing? Huh? Frank. I don't know what else to say. I'm tired, man. I'm tired, man. I need to sleep. Like, subscribe, share. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.